Hey, I'm Beth Pruitt. Welcome to UC Santa Barbara Bioengineering. We're excited to introduce you to everything our program has to offer. In fall 2023, UC Santa Barbara's Biological Engineering Department welcomed its second ever cohort of PhD students. While recently designated as a department, the seventh in the highly regarded College of Engineering, leading edge bioengineering research has been a fixture on this campus in other departments for years. In fact, the 27 affiliated BioE faculty members are well established already, and in many cases, sit at the forefront of their fields. Bioengineering was built from learning from all of the great programs in our country and benchmarking. We already were doing great bioengineering research here for decades. In fact, we were voted one of the top bioengineering programs even before we had one, ironically. Woven into the first year curriculum are lab rotations designed to introduce students to the methods and research of four faculty members, which allows students to make informed decisions on the focus of their own research and faculty advisors. Students also benefit from two training programs funded by major federal grants. I was able to find a good fit and gain um, various different sets of skills as well as also um, kind of broaden my network at UCSB. I was able to interact with more faculty. So we really want to get a full 360 for the students on how they choose their lab, uh, getting out there to conferences, to network. So the, the training grant kind of provides kind of a five-year arc of suggested experiences for the students to have a, a really complete PhD experience and be, feel prepared. The department provides students with formal training in biological engineering that reflects the university's strengths in engineering, material science, biophysics, biochemistry, quantitative biology, and data science. Students say that the opportunities to make fundamental scientific advances and transform them into applications in biomedicine and biotechnology are endless. My research is focusing on trying to be able to genetically engineer these anaerobic fungi and uh, we're at the very forefront of this. We work with stem cells. I am working toward harnessing cooperativity to enhance um, electrochemical aptamer-based sensors. What we do is develop and use novel sequencing techniques um, to look at embryonic mammalian development. We are in an interdisciplinary campus where a culture of innovation and collaboration drives the development of both fundamental science and technological solutions. At the interface of engineering and the sciences, BioE students benefit from long-standing collaborative relationships. BioE in particular is the epitome of that. We have uh, all the engineering disciplines represented, uh, life sciences, physics, uh, biology certainly, like it's really a, a melting pot of all the different disciplines on campus and it's also just an amazing environment to work in. Together we can accomplish a project that a part we would never be able to do and I think with students that's really exciting because you do get these different experiences. And UCSB is very interdisciplinary. Um, everybody talks to each other, everybody's super friendly. It felt like I could learn a more broad array of subjects. The Bioengineering Building, which opened in 2017, serves as the department's home base. The three-story LEED certified building features state-of-the-art labs with breathtaking views and offices for students and faculty. Due to UCSB's long-standing shared facilities model, students have access to a comprehensive spectrum of state-of-the-art experimental and computational resources across campus, including at the Materials Research Laboratory, or MRL, regarded as one of the top five materials facilities in the world. UCSB, I know, has so many core facilities and shared instruments that are actually bought by professors and then like they give them up to share uh, more than you know any one professor could have, so you can uh, really do a lot more. The shared facilities on campus has been a lifesaver to starting my research. I'm using one of the instruments in the MRL right now, um, and it's really nice to be able to just reserve an instrument that you might not have otherwise had access to and use that to further your research. And that's really what gives our students an edge in, um, and in the competitive workforce because they can just hit the ground running on limitless different uh, pieces of equipment and, and instrumentation. They're really fearless about collaborating and seeking out new opportunities to bring a, a new aspect into their research. BioE faculty recently received a nearly $10 million award from the U.S. Army 
to purchase customized and state-of-the-art robotic systems to enable faculty and students to make even more impactful discoveries. It'll be similar to what you see here. We're going to have a, a robotic system uh, doing everything that our students would normally do at the bench, but 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year, so that we can start to develop data sets that you would never dream to have developed, that you would start to free up your own time to analyze those data sets and really find true breakthroughs. Students and faculty say that there are several advantages to joining a new department, especially one affiliated with our College of Engineering which is annually ranked among the nation's best. One, there's just a lot more individual attention um, and room for your questions to be answered. Um, similarly, there was a lot more um, space for like grants to be given to the students that were incoming, which was really nice. I was super excited to join a new program because I could help um, shape the program and the future of the program. And also, I have access, I guess, to a lot of faculty who are leading in their field and can um, yeah, help me grow as a researcher. In addition to impactful research, students say the university, located on the breathtaking California coast, has countless other benefits. The campus is also located right next to the beach um, in a gorgeous, sunny Santa Barbara, which I would say certainly helps boost the mood, especially when I have such great views from the lab. Nature is everywhere. Uh, if you're into nature, this is the place to be. If you ask our grad students, they'll tell you that UCSB has exceeded their high expectations, and they believe you can expect the same. Being able to finally learn the skills I need to be able to learn in order to do those projects and actually be able to be sort of in charge of uh, the, the projects themselves um, because I have those skills now, that's something that feels really empowering and um, exciting that I'm finally able to do that. Thanks for spending time with us today. If you'd like to learn more, please reach out or follow us on social media.